In this section, we'll show you how to properly operate your John Deere Z500 Series Z track. We'll start with a look at the controls. Please keep in mind that the Z track controls will be very similar in operation, but may be in a different location on your machine. See your operator's manual for the specific location and operation of controls on your mower. You use the motion control levers to turn and steer the mower. On the control console to the right as you sit in the seat is the hour meter and fuel gauge, ignition key switch, mower engagement knob, throttle control lever, and the choke control lever. The deck lift pedal is toward the front of the foot platform on the right. On the left is the fuel tank cap. Always check the fuel level before mowing. The fuel tank sight window is on the front of the mower, just below the seat, and clearly displays the level of fuel in the tank. While operating, a gauge on the console displays the amount of fuel. The parking brake lever is located on the left side of the machine. The parking brake is engaged when this lever is in the up position. The brake is released when this lever is in the down position. To start the engine, sit in the seat and make sure both steering levers are out and the park brake is locked. Make sure the deck is disengaged and the area all around the machine is clear. If you are cold starting the engine, set the throttle lever to the start position, engage the choke, and turn the key. When the ROPs are in the upright position, ensure your seatbelt is fastened. If the engine is warm, set the throttle lever to the MO position and turn the key switch to the start position. When the engine starts, release the key switch to the run position and let the engine warm up for 20 seconds. If the engine does not start, wait 10 seconds, turn key to start position again for no longer than 5 seconds. Caution. Unnecessary engine idling may cause engine or transmission damage. Excessive idling can also cause overheating, carbon buildup, and poor performance. All John Deere mowers come with safety interlock systems to reduce the chances of injury. With these systems, the engine should only start when the mower blades are turned off and the levers are in the start shutdown position and the park lever is engaged. Always check these systems in a clear area before mowing. To do this, start the engine. Make sure the throttle is set to full and engage the mower blades. Keep the motion control levers in the start shutdown position and rise slowly up off the seat. But do not get off the machine. The engine should begin to stop and the mower blades should begin to stop rotating. If you find a problem with your safety interlock system, do not use the mower. Contact a John Deere dealer to troubleshoot and repair your machine. Mow with the ROPS fully upright and locked whenever possible. Always wear a seatbelt when the ROPS is upright. Lower the ROPS only when it's required to mow in an area with low clearance. Do not wear your seatbelt when mowing with the ROPS lowered. Raise the ROPS as soon as you've mowed the low clearance area and resume wearing your seatbelt. The seatbelt keeps you from being thrown and possibly crushed by the machine should it tip over in an accident. Once all of the recommended daily checks are completed and you've made sure everyone is clear of the mowing area, you are ready to begin mowing. To mow, sit in the seat to start. Fasten your seatbelt if the ROPs are in the upright position. Throttle up the engine. Release the park brake. 
Bring the steering levers inward and remain in the neutral position. Lift up on the power takeoff knob to engage the mower and slowly push the motion control levers forward to mow. You accelerate, brake, and steer your Z-Track with the motion control levers. Your travel and turning speeds will vary depending on how far you move the control levers. To move forward, bring the levers together and gently push them forward. To turn right, slowly push the left lever farther forward than the right lever. To turn left, slowly push the right lever farther forward than the left lever. To stop, bring the levers back to the center position. Zero turn mowers can turn very quickly. Before turning, look around the machine to ensure that no one has entered the mowing area. Be sure to look in the direction of travel during the turn. To move in reverse, come to a complete stop if you're mowing. Shut off the mower engagement knob, look behind and down, and slowly pull the levers back. Practice using the levers at half throttle until you feel comfortable operating the machine before mowing for the first time. Do not move motion control levers rapidly. Sudden direction changes could cause loss of control or damage the machine. To park, disengage the mower. Stop on level ground. Move the control levers out to the start shutdown position. Engage the park brake. Move the throttle control to idle. Allow the engine to cool for 20 seconds before turning off the machine. Then turn the ignition key to the stop or off position and remove the key. Children or bystanders may attempt to move or operate an unattended machine. Always lock the park brake. Turn off the engine and remove the key before leaving the machine unattended. Become proficient at operating the machine on flat ground before operating on slopes. Rollover and loss of control accidents on slopes are a major cause of mowing injuries and deaths each year. Some slopes are simply too steep to mow with your Z-Track lawnmower. If you feel uneasy on the slope, don't mow it. Always mow slopes at slower speeds. Mow across slopes with a zero-turn mower. Do not mow slopes when the grass is wet to avoid losing traction. Do not mow where the machine could slip, tip, or roll over. Never start or stop on a slope. Review your property using the slope gauge provided in the owner's manual. Use a slope gauge or a slope inclinometer to make sure slopes are safe to mow. Do not exceed the recommended slope operating angle. While mowing, watch closely for holes, bumps, rocks, or other hidden objects that could cause a loss of control of the mower. Mow in a safe mowing pattern. Maintain a safe distance that's at least as wide as your mower between you and bodies of water or any retaining walls, ditches, or embankments. Use a string trimmer or walk behind mower in these areas. If you feel uncomfortable or if you lose traction on a slope, stop mowing. Disengage the deck and proceed slowly and safely off the slope. If you install a rear attachment, such as a bagger, always install ballast weights on the machine. When you remove your bagger, also remove the ballast weights. Here are some tips to help you transport your mower safely on a trailer. Use a trailer with sides and a full-width loading ramp that's at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters wider than your mower. Machine wheels can slip off the ramp or trailer, causing the machine to tip over. With a trailer parked on a level surface, position the mower to back up the ramp. With the mower deck raised, ROPS up and seat belt on. Turn and look behind and down and back slowly in a straight line up the trailer ramp. Never drive forward up the ramp. Make sure to keep the wheels away from the ramp edges. When you are positioned on the trailer, Place the control sticks in the start shutdown position and lock the brake. Lower the mower deck completely. Turn off engine and remove the key. Fasten the front and rear of your mower to the trailer at both sides of the frame with heavy duty straps, chains or cables. Direct the straps down, forward and outward from the machine. Do not turn machine around on trailer. When unloading, drive forward down the ramp. Cautiously drive the mower down the ramp and away from the trailer.
That brings us to the end of this video on operating safely. Always refer to your operator's manual or contact your John Deere dealer for any additional questions about mowing safety, operation, or maintenance. Thank you for watching. Thank you.